Hey everyone, this is going to be a demo specifically walking you through how to get a theme into Warp. I'm going to be changing my Warp theme into the Pride theme uh, that Warp has created. Let's get started. So for initial context, we have an open source repo for our themes extension point in Warp. So this is what you're seeing right now. And our users can add whatever themes they want into this open source repo. Now there are two ways to get these themes into your local version of Warp. Option one is that you can download the specific theme. So I'm going to go ahead and just visit our Warp documentation because I think it is a good way to just get started. The first thing you want to do is create a config directory in your home directory. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this command and then paste it into my warp terminal. So this goes ahead and makes a theme folder in my warp directory. So if I press ls, I can see the themes folder has been created. Now what we want to do is we want to take the theme that we want. So for me, it's going to be the pride theme. So if I go into the open source repo and I press holiday, I can find the pride.yam file that I'm looking for. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to recreate that file structure in my local directory, navigate into the themes folder, then I'm going to make a holiday directory, then I'm going to navigate into the holiday directory, and I'm going to go ahead and create a pride.yaml file. Now this pride.yaml file is going to start out empty, but I'm going to go ahead and click on the pride.yaml file in the open source repo, copy all the contents of it and then just paste it into my local file and then press colon wq to write and save that. So if I press ls now, I can see my pride.yaml file has been created and populated with all the info that I need. Now there's one extra step I need to do here, which is actually downloading the pride background picture. So you can see it's this nice rainbow, uh, you know, image here, right click on it, press save image as and I'm gonna save it as pride underscore bg dot jpg and press enter. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and run this command which will just copy the image I downloaded into my warp slash theme slash holiday directory. Awesome, so I just ran that and if I press ls, you'll see that I now have my pride.yaml file that I just created and the pride background image that I just moved from downloads to this folder. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna close warp, I'm gonna quit out of warp and then I'm gonna reopen it and awesome. You'll see that it already auto-picked uh, the pride theme for me, but if it doesn't auto-pick the pride theme for you, you can go to the top right of Warp, click on settings, and then go to appearance. Click on the themes and just scroll through, and you should find pride at the very bottom because you just added it, and then you can go ahead and select that as your theme. So option two for getting a theme is just gonna be cloning the entire themes repo into your local Warp directory. So I'm on the homepage for the themes open source repo. I'm gonna go ahead and click this code drop down, copy this link, and then in my warp command line, I can just type git clone and then paste this link here. It's gonna go ahead and clone the entire themes repo into this directory here. It might take a few seconds, but when it's all said and done, I can go ahead and quit warp and reopen it. And you'll see that the pride theme has been automatically added. If I go into my settings and take a look at all my themes, you'll see I have a huge, I have all the themes that have been added to this open source repo is available to me. So you can go ahead and just play around with all the different themes that you can possibly have. Also, if you're having trouble finding your original theme that you wanted to add, there's a search bar up here so I can search for pride and select pride. And there you have it. That's how you add themes in Warp. I hope this demo was helpful and let me know if you have any questions. See ya!